Welcome to Barbarian Empire, your daily guide on how to navigate the Matrix. And I'm your host, Oprah the Great. We got a long list of news today, so let's get to it. Now we see why Elon Musk has been pushing for freedom of speech. The U.S. Supreme Court rejects Elon Musk's appeal on Tesla posts. Basically, what's happening was his shareholders did not want him to be tweeting about Tesla. They basically were infringing on his freedom of speech because of his push for freedom of speech on the platform. The platform has become volatile, as all of us can see. It's basically 4chan. Basically, kind of shows that everybody hates everybody. But that's a different conversation for a different day. But basically, now that his appeal has been shot down, he actually has to be pre-approved before he tweets anything about Tesla. Reason being because he's liable to say anything, and that will actually drive the stock price down or up, because that will also be considered market manipulation, which we kind of see people do it all the time. But yes, now he has to seek approval before he tweets anything about Tesla. Guess there is no freedom of speech when money is involved. The fight for your thoughts in your brain has begun. Tether invests $200 million into Neuralink's rival, BlackRock's own Neurotech. For anybody that plays video games, this seems very familiar. It looks like the game Cyberpunk 2077. People who aren't aware of what Neuralink is, it's a brain interface. It's basically a chip that goes into your brain that can wirelessly set up and connect neurons. And by connecting these neurons, you can control computers, or you can also connect other neurons. Let's say if you have paraplegic or any type of neural diseases, it'll be able to fix them in the near future. That also could be dangerous because it's also sending your brain waves onto a wireless network where your thoughts or dreams could probably be read. They could possibly put ads in your head, play movies, or give you memories that you never had. It can be easily manipulated, just like the game Cyberpunk. So you probably can almost hack people. It's getting crazy. And for what people don't know what Tether is or who Tether is, they're basically a cryptocurrency token. They have the US dollar token, which is USDT, which is a stable coin. What a stable coin is a coin that's pegged to the US dollar, it does not move up or down. So they took 200 million of our crypto dollars and invested that into this neurotech company using BlackRock, which is the biggest biggest asset manager in the world so now you see where we're going with this and what's going on like they said with world war three is not going to be fought on land it's not going to be actual war it's going to be actual battle fought for your brains and your thoughts this is the world war three to me i think they're going to be successful yes we do see comments of people say hey they're not going to mess with my brain but once money is involved then they're going to connect people making exuberant amounts of money to them having a brain chip people are going to fall right into it but this is only my opinion. We're going to see how this plays out later. The game of Monopoly has restarted in Africa. Coca-Cola gives up for an IPO in their $8 billion Coca-Cola bottling plant. Now Coca-Cola is starting its heavy investments into the Johannesburg, South Africa bottling plants. And they're also going to open up in Amsterdam simultaneously. They're not necessarily going to open up. They're going to IPO. So they're going to have their initial offering for public trading. And you know what? The public trading is only going to make them bigger. So now extreme capitalism is making its way to the continent of Africa. You know, people mess it up. They be saying country continent. So basically, they're done playing Monopoly over here in the United States. They got that already sold up. So now they just picked up a new board. And some people may be happy with what's going on in South Africa. But we're going to tell you for all my African people that's out there, the game that they played in America. Yes, the money is going to be good for your athletes. Yes, the money is going to be good for your influencers. Yes, your money, yes, the money is going to be good for anyone they can sponsor that can sell their item. But we've seen what capitalism has done to the United States. It will exactly happen over there. In some areas, we're already seeing how dystopian it can get, like in Nigeria. You're seeing literal kings drive around in Rolls Royces on dirt roads while everybody around is starving. All I can say is a double-edged sword because, yes, it's going to bring money. And yes, it's going to bring other people out of poverty. But it's also going to send other people deeper into poverty. So best of luck to everyone that's in Africa. Meta is trying to put their money where their mouth is. Meta confirmed the launch of a bonus program on their app Threads. I know people have been on Threads and they've been seeing people post screenshots of their payouts. Some people think it's fake. They're real. They're just only giving it to certain creators so far. But yes, Meta did confirm that they're bringing payouts for the content creators. We kind of knew this was going to happen because what they're doing to TikTok. And I'm not going to lie, being a creator on TikTok and being paid by TikTok, TikTok pays terribly. You have to get an obscene amount of views to even get paid some type of money on there. Most of the money that you get from TikTok is usually through sponsorship and affiliate programs. 
And for some of us, we're already getting paid by Instagram again because they're having their spring bonuses. Which they just sent me an email this morning saying that they're having a type of problem because now when you try to click to accept for your next bonus, it's the little wheel keeps loading and spinning and nothing happens. So they told me that's an error that they have. That's a bug that they're trying to fix, which is a lie. They're just really not trying to give us money like that. And this is going to happen with TikTok if they happen to do sell it to Americans because they're going to end up trying to play with the money because the point of this is to make money and not really give it away. So they're going to play little games where they're going to say bugs are happening and just so they can make more money. While well, you got enough millions of views, exposure for products, and they pay you nothing. So they're going to play little bug games. Man, they got content creators in the chokehold. Dang, I thought they had Japan in the first half, not going to lie. The Japanese yen actually jumps against the U.S. dollar. If you weren't paying attention, the actual Japanese yen was crashing. It was at a 34-year low. And we've seen it crashing day after day after day. But now it just jumped up suddenly. So that means some type of intervention had to happen. Somebody just bailed out Japan from their economy crashing. And like I said in previous segments, we're in late-stage capitalism. So we're seeing what's happening to these economies. Economies are crashing. Banks are crashing. That being said, we are due for a great reset. I mean, to me, it looked like this is the point of what's happening. It looked like they're pushing for a great reset. It looked like they're going to crash everything. They're going to reset everything, put it on blockchain, track every single transaction. Boom, digital slavery. I mean, according to me, I think it's happening. Well, I don't say I think. I know we can see it. We can see the steps. We can see the dominoes fall. But that's why you got people like me until they finally shut me down. I'm your daily guide on how to navigate this matrix and how it's changing. But that's all for today. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. The link is in the bio. Also join our Discord community. That link is also in the bio. So anything you want to know about crypto, finance, day trading, video games, whatever you want, we have it in there. Ask any type of questions. Somebody be in there to help you. See you guys tomorrow.